Three family, welcome to Those Jerkies Times Three. My name is Kenisa, and today we are doing an updated dog grooming routine video. In this video, we have featured the Delamo Pet Grooming Glove. This is what the glove looks like. Delamo is kind enough to send us this glove, so we were able to use it in the video and test it out. So if you guys are interested in seeing our updated dog grooming routine and see how we use the glove, definitely stay tuned for the video. Bye guys. Alright guys, first things first, let's review our supplies. We have our gloves, we have our shampoo and conditioner, two in one, and we have our scissors and comb. Alright guys, so the first thing that we do is we'll start with doing a little sanitary cut. Instead of shaving the dogs, I find that this is a little bit more calming for them. It may not get it down as good, but it definitely does a good job in just getting that extra hair away from there. But so when they poop, they don't have any, it stuck to their hair. So I always like to start with that and definitely like to go ahead and give the girls top knots a good little comb out, comb them out as well, and get them ready to go onto the water, get their hair, you know, so it's not matted. With Yorkies, it's so important to make sure that you keep their hairs combed out so they don't have any matting. Bailey did have a little bit of tear staining around her face, so just went ahead and cut that brown hair off. All right, so let's get them in the tub. So of course you want to temperature check the water. Make sure it's not too hot. Make sure it's not too cold. Want to get a nice little comfortable temperature for the dogs. I usually do just a little warmer than lukewarm. I definitely don't do hot water. Look at that face from Demarley. All right, so you just want to do your initial, initial rinse, and that is to get all the debris, dirt, anything you don't want on there, on the, anything you don't want on the dog off. So you just want to make sure you rinse them thoroughly. And you definitely want to make sure you get their faces. If you have a Yorkie, you know that their faces can be so stinky sometimes. It can smell like a little foot is growing off their face. So you want to make sure you rinse their face good. You want to make sure you take care when cleaning their face to get all that yucky stuff off. Especially if they're like mine and have all the tears staining on their face. Alright guys, and also didn't show this, but we did brush their teeth and clean their ears. Look at this Zoe. Oh my goodness. Is she not the cutest thing just sitting up there? And look at the Marty. The Prince. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is get that Delmo glove on. Now, we have been trying out a new shampoo. It is a shampoo and conditioner. So, the jury stood out on that. We're just trying to see how we like it right now. So, that's the shampoo and conditioner we're using. We're going to get a good dollop on the glove. we will get it onto the dog's skin and start using that glove to massage it into their skin. So as you guys can see, the glove is really combing through their hair a little bit more than I'd be able to if I were just giving them a bath. Look at Zoe, she's enjoying that. Look at her eyes. But anyways, the glove is definitely combing through their hair and I feel as though the, the shampoo and conditioner got a lot more sudsy than it normally does with just the hand of course. One of the major things that we noticed when using the glove is that it got a lot of the dead hair off so we really like that. So now it's time to go ahead and rinse the dogs off. You see they're nice and sudsed up. So now it's time to give them a good, good rinse. Make sure that water is the perfect temperature, guys. Alright, and now it is time for wash number two. 
So again, you see we're just rubbing that comb through. That's when the dead hair really started to come off of the dogs for us. Was that second wash we started to notice that's a lot of hair coming off. Which is good because sometimes having to comb them out, they can get a little bit matted. So it's nice to be able to comb them out prior and comb them out while they're getting washed and then comb them out after. So you know you're getting all that dead hair. And it's also a good stimulation to the skin to encourage hair growth. So it's like a two for two. You get rid of the dead hair and then you encourage new hair to grow. Look at baby's belly. get that glove off that was the final wash we only do two washes and then just rinse it. the glove is so easy to clean just rinse it back out and let it dry all clean so that's what the glove looks like and all you have to do is just leave it out and let it dry let's get these dogs rinsed off again get that last little bit of soap and conditioner off of them get out of the tub we didn't have their towel so they all had to share a towel this time which is fine no big deal look how cute that puppy is make sure you squeeze out their ears guys you want to make sure that you take the towel too and try to get in their ears you don't want to leave too much excess water in their ears nobody likes water in their ears so you want to make sure you you know really try to get that water out and they'll shake it out to you know when they um you let them down and they shake 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 but you know you can do as much as you can to assist and let's get that little miss bailey out of there all right so once we get them out the tub just try to pat them dry i don't really blow dry the dogs anymore only way i would blow dry them is, is if i have somewhere to be i like to just let them air dry so at this point when we get them out i comb them down one more time make sure to get any knots that may have got in there when we were trying to dry them off look at zoe she just sits up there and watches like a queen that she is so you want to make sure you get them combed out dried off really good come out again so you don't leave any mats in there they're gonna go rub their faces all over the floor but you want to give them the best chance possible not to have as many mats all right spray a little perfume or cologne on them get them smelling good that last little comb through boom a little bit for the zozo You know, with the girls, make sure you get that top knot combed out. Don't want that matted. And there they are. Look at Marley after that. All right, guys. So that is their updated bath routine. That's what they do after the fact. They do their little wiggles and they are on their merry way. They've gotten their baths. They're clean and they're ready to fight another week. So that was us grooming the dogs, just giving them a bath. We did clean their ears and brush their teeth off camera. So our final thoughts on the glove. I thought that it lathered the dogs up really, really well. I think the dogs enjoyed it. It was like a mini massage for them. So it seemed like they were enjoying it. And you guys can see in the footage how much it lathered them up. And you can see that it was kind of combing through their hairs. So I definitely enjoyed the glove. I think the dogs liked it. Also, another thing that I really did like about the glove is that it helped remove dead hair. A lot of dead hair was coming out, something that wouldn't happen if I was just using my hand. So that was definitely a plus. So overall from us, this Delamo glove definitely gets a thumbs up from those rookies times three. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this glove, there will be a link in the description box below where you can just click on that and it'll take you right to Amazon where you can purchase this glove. If you do decide to purchase a glove, let me know how you guys like it. And that is everything for today. Definitely thank you guys for watching those Junkies Times 3. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, X-Wing family.